Aquasac is a new innovative product brought to you by Greybox Limited. Don't be caught out by flash flooding. Two million homes in England and Wales are at risk of flooding. Finding out whether your home is in a flood risk area and what you can do to reduce the risk are key steps in learning to cope with flooding. Then, it is essential to take action to prepare in advance. You are unlikely to keep flood water out of your home completely. Water may enter through doors, windows, air bricks, vents, drains, walls and even through the ground floor. This is what your home could look like if you don't do something to help yourself. Water depths up to 30 centimeters or about one foot are fairly common. The worry and disruption is really not worth it. Greybox have been developing Aquasac for the last two years and now have a product that is available to the general public. Aquasac SOS bags are used for flood control in a similar way to traditional sandbags. It is a sandbag that needs no sand. It self inflates within three to five minutes. It is easy to handle, easy to store and easy to transport. Aquasac SOS bags are intended for use in constructing defences against flood water up to 60 to 70 centimetres. That's about two feet in depth. Aquasac SOS bags can also be used to soak up seepage that enters the building. This cardboard box contains 50 Aquasac SOS bags. The box is parcel size and weighs 24 kilos. This can be lifted by almost anyone. After opening you will see two vacuum sealed bags containing 25 Aquasac bags. The box and bags are easy to open and easy to store. Place a box of 50 bags in a garage, loft or shed taking up no more room than a couple of thick blankets. Once purchased you can unburden your worries knowing that you have your own store should an emergency arrive. The bags are designed to be stored for long periods until the time is needed. When the time comes, place the desired amount of bags in water. Aquasac SOS bags can be soaked in a pond or shallow stream, or a trough or tank. A wheelbarrow or baby bath filled with a hose is another possibility. Alternatively, the bags can be soaked indoors, in a bath, shower tray or large sink. If flooding has already started, bags can be laid in the water to soak it up. Do not immerse the SOS bags for longer than 5 to 6 minutes as the bags will be about 90% inflated after this time. The bag is capable of absorbing over 30 times its own weight in water. A minimum of 25 bags is recommended to protect a standard sized doorway against a water depth of 30 centimeters. Our demonstration shows approximately 25 bags being used to build a wall as you would with traditional sandbags to create a barrier to hold back a column of water. Firstly, remove any debris from the area. Place the inflated SOS bags lengthways and parallel to the direction of water flow. Place bags in layers, like courses of bricks in a wall, making sure that each bag overlaps the one below by half. Drop the bags into place to eliminate gaps and create a seal. Interleave a plastic sheet between layers to improve the seal. The best construction with minimal seepage is built using butt joints between bags, created by pushing two bags together so that the height is the same at the point as in the middle of the bags. In our demonstration, we then fill one half of our specially produced tank with water, showing how the SOS bags can hold back a column of up to 10 inches of water. Can you manage without them?